The previous lessons showed you the details of getting connected to a database. When you boil it all down to what you actually have to do, it really gets pretty simple. Here is a class that will make a connection. This class is about as simple as I could make it. I just named it DB. It just has one static method named getConnection and it returns a connection to the database. Here at the top are the definitions to the database class, the database URL, as well as the username and password. I just have them defined here as constants, but you could easily add methods to modify these values and set them to whatever you want before you create the connection. Now the method that returns the connection throws an SQL exception. Most of the methods dealing with the database also throw the same exception, so it's no real burden on the caller to handle this one. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. The first thing that happens is that the class file of the driver is loaded into the Java Virtual Machine and initialized. This is a one-time thing that throws its own exception. It's a bit of a showstopper. If it doesn't work, nothing's going to work. So I just report the error and halt the whole process. If the class is already loaded, it's not an error, so even if you call this method again, it won't be an error. It's surprising how simple all this really is. Once the driver class is loaded, it's only a matter of calling getConnection to return a connection object. This is the method call that could possibly throw an SQL exception. If this method does not throw an exception, we have a connection object that is ready to go. Here is a simple program that shows you how to use that DB class. This class has a main method that makes a connection to the database and gets a statement object that can be used to communicate with it. The DB class has the static method getConnection that's called to return the connection object. This is done inside the try block, so if an SQL exception is thrown, it will be caught here. To issue SQL commands, the database statement object is required. You call the createStatement method of the connection object to get a statement object. This method call also can throw an SQL exception, so this call is included inside the try-catch block. Now both the statement and the connection must be closed when you are finished with them. And the closed methods can also throw SQL exceptions, so they must also be inside a try-catch block. You need to be careful and make sure that you always close these things. I can't tell you exactly what could go wrong if you fail to close them because different databases work in different ways and do different things. If you always close them, you don't have to worry about that. 